disturbing the position of other elements. The Mendeleev's periodic table, however, had its own demerits. Firstly, no fixed position could be given to hydrogen in the table, as it resembled alkali metals, as well as halogens. At certain places, an element of higher atomic mass has been placed before an element of lower mass. For example, cobalt, whose atomic mass is 58.93, is placed before nickel, whose atomic mass is 58.71. Also, some elements placed in the same subgroup had different properties. Example, manganese, MN, is placed with halogens, which totally differ in properties. Due to these irregularities, a need for a new classification thus emerged. In 1913, Henry Moseley, an English physicist, discovered that atomic number is the most fundamental property of an element and not its atomic mass. This discovery changed the whole perspective of elements and their properties. Accordingly, Mendeley's periodic law was modified into modern periodic law, which states that the chemical and physical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic number. The periodic table based on modern periodic law is called modern periodic table. Many versions of this periodic table are in use, but the one which is most commonly used is long form of modern periodic table. We shall now learn in detail about the modern periodic table. Okay, so that was the video about uh, the initial some attempts for the classification of elements and then how Dimitri Mendeleev provided the first successful attempt to classify the elements in the form of tables and that was known as the uh, Mendeleev's periodic table. Then how like uh, even that table there were few drawbacks, few problems were there. That's why there was need to introduce another table and later on the Henry Mosley then provided us with a new table which is called as a modern periodic table. So, so now we have to learn here about both the tables in, uh, I mean, we'll not go in very detail, but uh, at least I know a few things we need to understand here. So now let's continue with the slide here. Yeah. Slide, slide. If you please look at the slide there. The next, look at that. Uh, next topic is this, Mendeleev's periodic table. Okay, now let's start writing here. Mendeleev's periodic table. Dimitri Mendeleev made the first periodic table where he arranged 10 known elements in 1869. 10 known means at his time, so it's like long ago, right? Long ago time. So, I mean, uh, in his time, not all the elements were discovered. So whatever elements were discovered, uh, Mendeleev attempted to arrange those. Okay, so there were around 63 elements which were discovered during his time and he attempted to classify those all elements. Mendeleev's table was first successful attempt to classify the elements. Very important thing here. Okay, before him also there were attempts. Okay, I, I hope you saw there in that video, a okay, few unsuccessful attempts were there, like uh, Dobrenayer's uh, triad, Newland's octave rule, and, and so on. So those, uh, those previous attempts, now we don't need in our curriculum. That's why I know we're not discussing them in detail. All the elements then discovered were arranged in tabular form on the basis of their atomic mass. Now, this thing is very important here. Okay. What Mendeley thought was Mendeley thought that atomic mass was the most fundamental property of any element. I 
and that's why we arranged all the elements on the basis of the atomic mass. Okay, many, many thought atomic mass was the most important thing. And on that basis, like he provided with a law, Mendeleev's periodic law, which states that the physical and chemical properties of all the elements are periodic functions of their atomic mass. So this, this whole sentence may look a uh, little bit complicated to understand, but for easiness, like, you know, what you can understand here is the properties, the chemical and physical properties of elements depend on their atomic mass. That's it. Okay, that's that's the law uh, given by the Mendeleev. Okay, Mendeleev, while uh, making this table, provided the law. On this law, he uh, tried to arrange all those uh, then discovered elements on the basis of the atomic mass. The physical and chemical properties of all elements are periodic functions of their atomic mass. So that time it was obviously kind of revolution. Okay, it was like uh, a huge success success there. Okay, during that time, again okay, to provide this type of uh, classification system of elements. Before him, like you know, chemists did not uh, think about uh, making a table and then uh, classifying all the elements there. So here, the very important thing that you should note down is about the atomic mass. The atomic mass is very important thing here to understand. Okay, now please look at this. So this was a table given by Mendeleev. Okay, this was the table, and uh, no need to copy this table. If you start copying this whole table, it will take a long time. So, more than copying, okay, okay, 